Aaron Sorkin is one of Hollywood's most sought-after writers. The Oscar winner's signature sharp dialogue is behind hit movies like A Few Good Men, The Social Network, and Moneyball, plus TV dramas like The West Wing and The Newsroom. Sorkin is making his debut as a director in Molly's Game. It stars Jessica Chastain and Idris Elba. Sorkin wrote the script based on the real-life Molly Bloom. She became an FBI target for hosting one of the most exclusive high-stakes poker games. Chastain portrays Bloom in the movie. Elba plays her defense attorney. In this clip, Bloom tells him why she refuses to give up her famous roster of players and ruin her reputation for immunity. You didn't do anything wrong. I threw four people under the bus for $35,000, Charlie. I noticed you kept that out of your speech to the prosecutor. No, don't do that I took to advantage me. of gambling addicts. Donnie Silverman, my brilliant find. He lost Money. $6 million Stop. on my table. Stop. Moved to Florida, uh -huh. got a job as a substitute teacher, then hanged himself. Oh, and in that's his your fault. That's Donnie not Silverman's your fault. Donnie dead. Harlan Eustace is in jail in Nevada, wishing he was, but that's not why I'm saying no. You're not saying no. I was named after my great grandmother. I don't care. Molly. We Dublin. will stay here Boom. all night Is until you understand. Until you understand, nobody gives a about your good name. I do. Why? Because. Why? Because. Tell me why. Because it's all I have left. Because it's my name. And Aaron Sorkin, welcome back to CBS This Morning. It's great to be here. We were all surprised to learn that with everything that you've done over the years, you had never directed a television show or a film. That's right. Um, you, when I write something, uh, I always want the best possible director for that piece to direct it, and that's never been me. So um, why is it you yeah, now? Why is it you now? <laughs> well, I didn't write this with the intention of directing it, uh, uh, but when I turned in the first draft, the producers felt that I was the best one to direct it. And uh, it, it took a few weeks of encouragement from directors uh, I've worked with who, who felt that I should direct it. But in the end, the reason why I directed it is this. Uh, there are a lot of shiny objects uh, in this story. And there's a natural gravitational pull toward them. The glamour, the decadence, the money, the poker, and the Hollywood boldface names. Mm -hmm. And I had always wanted to tell a story set against the backdrop of those things, but focus on the larger, much more emotional, much more complex and nuanced story about Molly Bloom herself. Yep. I love her character, but not only did you direct, I want to follow up on that for a second, you're directing Kevin Costner, yes. who, by the way, has won the Academy Award for Dances with Wolves. <laughs> to me, that's like cooking for <laughs> Julia Child. Exactly right. Did you think you could do that, uh, Aaron? I, I, I was already at maximum fear and intimidation level, um, and then... Uh, Kevin Costner came along and said that he wanted to play uh, the role of Molly's father, and he's fantastic. <clears throat> Excuse me, but the idea of directing uh, uh, Kevin was certainly daunting. He would remind me from time to time that when he made his directorial debut with uh, Dances with Wolves, he had to worry about which direction 5,000 Buffalo were going to run <laughs> and if they'd come back. And didn't he give you tips during the movie? Every once in a while, listen, he was very encouraging and continues to be. He'll text me every few days. Uh, uh, you know, he would text me every few days during post-production saying, I know you're going to worry about this, but don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. You text me this morning saying, okay, you're doing CBS this morning. Yeah. Here's what Gail's going to ask you. <laughs> uh, 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 he's great. He but gave yes, you a tip during the movie, uh, right? Uh, uh, we were shooting. We were on a mountain. Uh, uh, Molly was uh, an Olympic-class skier, and the yeah. whole movie begins when she comes 100 yards from making uh, the U.S. Olympic team, yeah. but both literally and metaphorically trips over a stick. Uh, and uh, uh, Kevin, had, he knew that I had a shot tracking him, running through the crowd, trying to make it to Molly, who's taking a terrible fall. She's, uh, yeah. she's unconscious. Yeah. Uh, and he said, uh, uh, you know, if you want, you, you can, you've got, you're tracking me. You can just hand off to the commentators uh, right up there. And it's a shot I hadn't thought of. Oh. Uh, and I said wow. to everybody, gather around. Kevin had a really good idea for a shot. Uh, uh, we're going to do this. And later on, Kevin kind of took me aside and said, you know, you don't have to give me credit uh, uh, for the shot. It's, right. This is your movie. It's, yeah. So Kevin Costner, in addition to being as talented as he is, is the nicest person in the world. Yeah. And wow. The, the fact is that this whole movie was uh, just a triumph of collaboration. I was surrounded by great people, beginning and ending with Jessica, uh, who was such a phenomenal and partner on the set. She was your first choice for this, this role. How did your first meeting with her go? Our first meeting was great. I didn't it wasn't an audition for Jessica. I already knew, uh, you know, f from her body of work that, that she was who I wanted. Uh, I was going to this meeting to try to discover if this actress, 
who has been directed by Ridley Scott and Catherine Bigelow and Terrence Malick and Christopher <laughs> Nolan would be willing to would take direction you. from a first-time director or would I be taking direction from her? And about three minutes into the meeting, she leaned in and said, listen, this meeting is stupid. You should just give me the part. And I said... Yeah, you're right. Okay. <laughs> um, and you said from, about Jessica, you cannot fake funny and you cannot fake smart. There are things that, that an actor can't act. Yeah. Uh, an actor can't act smart. They can't act funny. They can't act strong. Mm. They can act tough, which is an affectation that mm. you use if you're not strong. But Jessica uh, has those things in her bloodstream, brings them with her to the she set. Said, she said that there was a lot of fun on the yeah, set and, and that she was surprised to learn about your excellent singing voice. But well, I believe that, that she is saying that <laughs> as a form of retribution. No. Um, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> what were you uh, singing? <laughs> I'm a big believer in morale uh, on the set. So there was some Gilbert and Sullivan, but then there was also this thing that began <laughs> on, on, I think, day three uh, of the shoot. You know, you, when you're filming a movie, you shoot one side of the scene, yeah. and then you turn around and you shoot the other side of the scene. So uh, when, when we would wrap out on, on one side, you know, I'd say, okay, cut, that's great, print that one, now let's turn around. And uh -oh. as soon as I said turn around, Jessica would start singing turn around. And, every, every and, 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 and the whole <laughs> crew would be doing it. And, it. and it happened every day, including on our last night of shooting, which is a scene where we shot in Central Park, it's a big scene between Costner and, uh, and Jessica. Yeah. We shot it all night long, and uh, I, I, I was walking by the park bench where, uh, where Jessica and Kevin were kind of getting themselves ready, and I hear Kevin Costner singing, Turn around. <laughs> <laughs> so all somehow right. the whole thing, it had just trickled through uh, uh, the entire show. Okay. It's a great Aaron Sorkin, thank you so much. Molly's Game, Thanks for having me. Select Theater's Christmas Day and Nationwide on January 5th.